Hi guys, I have uh, another Christmas ball for you. I know the Christmas is over, but there is uh, still holiday spirit going on. So I decided to make another one. It's again, the thread is number 10 and one and a half millimeter hook. And uh, this ball is about 10 centimeter big. So um, it looks like this. I think it's pretty good. I didn't have a time to um, stiffen it up. So it's the balloon is still in it. But I know that some of you are still home enjoying the holidays. So maybe you have a time to make one it's really really easy the two halves um spliced to, together right here and like you see because the openings are really really small i decided to put the balloon sideways because it was easier to stick it in there so that's how it look like. Hope you like it. So let's make it. I'll put it a little bit on the side. Let's see what we can do in here. Whoops. I didn't want to drop it, but it did drop. I'm going to put it right there. So I have some line going. Okay, we start with the slip knot. And we chain eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Slip stitch in the first loop. Okay, so we have a little circle, chain two, yarn over, and we're making half stitches. So one more, halfway, and we have a two, so it goes through two loops, chain two. Okay, halfway, yarn over, halfway, so we have a three loops, take them through, and it looks like this, and now we chain two again, one, two, yarn over, halfway, halfway and through them all so we have three we need eight so chain two halfway halfway through them all so we have four we need four more chain two halfway, halfway, through them all, chain two, halfway, halfway, through them all, chain two, halfway halfway through them all chain two and again through 
for them all. And I think I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we chain two. And we slip stitch on the top of it right here. Like that. Now we slip stitch in the middle in that two chain opening right there. And now we chain three, one, two, three, plus three for the um, between. So we have all six. And we making double crochet in a, another two chain spot. Chain three. And double crochet right there. Chain three. And double crochet. That chain three. So we should have eight of this as well. Three. Double crochet. Okay. Chain three and double crochet in those little openings right there. And double crochet. And I think I just need a chain three and we splice it with the slip stitch in from one, two, three, like that. Now I, I did that the whole circle so you see that you can make the cup. So don't worry about it. It's gonna strain up a little bit. I have one half already made. So you see it's kind of like poking up the middle, but when you put the balloon in there, it, it's kind of like fills it up. So now you chain three and be making four double crochet in the same chain or stitch so we have a two three and four and we are right here so we're doing that row right there This one right here, so you see it. I'm just gonna <clears throat> kind of show you up what, what it's gonna be like because I'm not going to make the whole circle. <clears throat> so you chain three, two, three, and you get on a double crochet below and you do the same thing for chain a four double crochet in the same um stitch so two three four and i do it one more time so chain three and you do for double crochet one two three and 
kvar. Okay. When you finish the circle, you slip stitch on the top of here, so you right there, and now you just chain two. We're doing half stitches again, and we need them four, so this is one, two, three, and four. So you have a four on, throw them all, so it look like that. Now you chain five and you're making the same thing in this opening. So we do it four half stitches, one, two, three, four, and this. Take them through, look like that. Okay, now you chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. And we're doing again half, half stitches. So two, three. And four on the top of the double crochet below, and now take them through. So it looks like that. Chain five, and we're making half stitches again in the middle. One. Two, three, four. Take them through. Five, one, three, four, five. And we going into here again and making four half stitches one two three and four take them through so when you um slip stitch you slip stitching on the top of here, so you're right there. And now we have to slip stitch in the middle of those five chains. So this is one, two, and one more. So we would be somewhere in the middle, three. And uh, now let me check it so i i'm i would not make a mistake okay now we chain one as a single crochet on the top of it and plus five uh, five uh, loops so chains one two three four five and you just making single crochet in the next one so single crochet so we we went from here to here. Again, five, two, three, four, five. So this row, it's really easy. Just making two, three, four, five in chain, helps. And slip, um, single crochet. So we right here, when we turn around, <clears throat> in a minute now i have to check again okay so we again need to slip stitch in the middle 
So one, two, and three. And now we're making five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm not really sure if I have that down right here so you would see it. Yes. So we, um, I'm gonna take this one now. So it would be easier. We did five right here. <clears throat> we have a five double crochet in the middle. Now we chain three, one, two, three, and we single crochet in the next one. Okay, like that. Again, chain three, yarn over, and we making five double crochet that's one two three four and five like this chain three Oops, I always put a yarn over, no yarn over. We're making a single crochet in the middle of the next one. Good, chain three. And now we're making five double crochets. Three. Five and that. So <clears throat> when we turn <clears throat> when we finish the row you making a slip stitch on the top of those five double crochet and so now we expanding so there is gonna be three for the chain and we make another double crochet in the same stitch so now instead of five we're going to have seven the middle don't have a just a single double crochet so single, single double crochet single double crochet so we have a one two three four five and now in the last double crochet we make two so we have seven so in this one we're making it two so one same spot we're making another double crochet we chain five and one, two, three, four, five, and we do the same thing in here. So in the first double crochet, we're making two double crochets. Then single double crochet in the next one. The next one and in the last one we're making two okay five chains between and we're making again 
to double crochet in the first one and then single Just make sure you have seven. So one, two, three, four, five. And in the last one, we're making two. So that's one and two in the same spot. Because when we turn the work around, chain three for the first double crochet. And we not doubling it so we just make a seven double crochet so that's two three four five six and seven so we have the correct number. Okay, so far like that. Now we're making seven double crochets in that five chain. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. Okay, I'm kind of uh, hurrying up so it doesn't look pretty, but that's okay. And then we do seven right here. Now those numbers are very important because when we want to put two halves together it, it needs to be a correct number otherwise it's not going to um, fill it up correctly. So again seven right here in the middle. I have one more in here so we make seven right here so one two three four four going to show you where we are right now so we did this one with the five chain between and now we finished the one with the seven double crochet over five chains and now we are one before last row and the different right in in here is that when we get to here we have to again do a double 
I mean the double crochet twice in a double crochet below. So double crochet, I mean two double crochet on the top and below. So that's what we're doing right now. That's the only difference what we need to do. So you turn around, you do three chains for the first double crochet and then you do a double crochet in the same chain so that's the only different so i'm just going to speed it up a little bit which is not really speeding up because it's getting dark outside and I don't see what I'm doing. Okay, so. Okay, where we are right now. Yeah, we, now we are on the top of this. So we're doing two double crochet in the same spot. Same, like that in the same spot to double crochet now in here what we have a seven just do seven we're not doubling it so one two three Four, five, six, and seven. And now we do a double, I mean two double crochet in the same spot. Because we are on top of right here. So that's the place where we do it. So we're going to double the double crochet in the same chain or stitch. Okay. So, and I need to do this to the end. And I, like I said, I don't know how to um, cut it into the video so you have to um have a patient with me in here but then you can work with me and you don't have to stop it because i'm slow so you definitely can catch up okay so we on the same that spot again where we do two Double crochet in the same chain. Okay, and now I'm just gonna finish up with this. Now, I probably not going to all the way to the end because it's just taking it so long and I'm hoping I will be able or why not i'm just going to finish it okay mm, don't see i think i'm gonna put the light on i thought i'm gonna make it because it's just the afternoon but it's winter time so it's getting dark really fast here okay so now we do again two double crochet in the same stitch Okay, so we did it. 
I actually finished it. I'm so proud of myself. I thought I'm not gonna <clears throat> like it because it's too many double crochets, the whole row, but it's actually, when you put it together, it's really pretty. So anyway, we're in here and we are on the last row. So we do five double crochets and, and five chains between. And uh, we start with the three double crochets first. And then when you finish up the circle, um, you make those uh, um, last two double crochets. So, okay, so that's three for the first double crochet. And now we make two more. And it's kind of like the row, what we did right here. So it's just kind of same thing. It's just that it's only five double crochets. So <clears throat> we have a three right now. You chain five, two, three, four, five. And you skip three. One, two, three, go into the fourth one. Okay. And now you make five double crochets, two, three, four, five, and you chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and you again skip four, one, uh, well, I mean three, one, two, three, going into fourth one, and you're making a five double crochet again. That's the last row. So the second part, you're doing it without, without the um, last part. So we are right here. And at this point, you chain two. You pick up your, um, the other half from the wrong side, wrong side go against the wrong side. So you chain two, whoops. And you, making single crochet right there into the spot. Now chain two again, come back. You skip three going into the fourth one. One, two, three going into the fourth one. And you're making five double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. And you again chain two instead of five. And you're going in here and you're making a single crochet. Chain two, coming back, skip three. One, two, three, going into the fourth one. And I didn't yarn over. So yarn over, going into the fourth one and you're making five double crochet. So one, two, and, uh, and you know, so far, so far. So you see it the way we um, connecting it, and that's actually 
what's gonna happen right here. See how nicely it's connecting, making the cross. So that's exactly what we have right here. So just continue the same way. And um, yeah, just put a balloon in there and it's gonna be really, really pretty. Even, you know, like when I was thinking about so many double crochets, the whole, you know, row, but when you're looking at it, it's actually, it's actually really, really pretty. Um, and I'm sure it would be even more pretty with no balloon in there, but what can I say? <clears throat> I'm so sorry about it. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, I enjoy all your <clears throat> comments. And um, I'm, I'm trying to do better next time. <laughs> that I'll show you, you know, everything what I'm using. So like I said, one and a half, the hook. It's a small one and number 10 for the yarn, for the thread. So anyway, I'll see you next time. You have a wonderful new year celebration and um, I'll be back next year then. Thank you again. Bye-bye.